Welcome to the Automated Daily, Hacker News Edition. Today is the 18th of September, 2023. I'm your host, Trend Teller, here to bring you the latest and most intriguing tech news from the hacker world. Let's dive right in. First up, we have a fascinating blog post that delves into the issue of memory fragmentation in Rust, particularly when using enums with varying sized variants. The author explains how Rust's need to allocate enough memory to accommodate the largest variant can lead to inefficient memory usage. The post also compares Rust's limitations in reducing fragmentation to Zig's ability to perform data structure transformations in a more generic and concise way. The author introduces the concept of reducing fragmentation through a struct of arrays transformation and proposes the use of an array of variant arrays collection to further improve packing efficiency. Next, we have a piece of history. The export version of Lotus Notes used to include a key escrow backdoor feature called differential cryptography. This feature allowed the NSA to have access to encrypted data by brute forcing a portion of the encryption key. The NSA's public key for this feature was discovered to have an organizational name of Mini Truth and a common name of Big Brother. Quite Orwellian, isn't it? Moving on. We have an article that explores the idea of using SQLite as the container for the Open Document File Format, specifically the Open Document Presentation Format. The author suggests that using SQLite instead of a zip archive could result in smaller documents, faster file save times, faster startup times, less memory usage, and improved document versioning. However, it's important to note that this is a thought experiment and not a suggestion to change the current Open Document design. Next, we have a discussion on Unix shells and their viability as access control mechanisms in modern Unix environments. The author argues that many services ignore the login shell and only use it for authentication purposes. Additionally, general authentication services like LDAP or single sign-on systems are blind to the login shell and cannot determine whether a login with a special shell should be allowed to pass authentication. Let's switch gears a bit and talk about gaming. OpenRA is a project that rebuilds classic strategy games like Red Alert, Command and & Conquer, and Doom 2000 for the modern era. The games have been updated with modern features like Attack Move, Unit Veteran C, and The Fog of War. They also have online play with support for mods and custom maps, as well as updated campaigns with new objectives and difficulties. The project is fully open source and developed with community input. Next. We have a blog post by Solene Rappin that provides an introduction to immutable Linux systems. The author discusses various implementations of immutability in Linux distributions such as Nixus, GU, Endless OS, Fedora Silverblue, OpenSUSE MicroOS, and Vanilla OS. The post explains the concept of immutability in operating systems and compares the different approaches taken by these distributions. Are you a software engineer looking for a new challenge? MixRank, a company that processes petabytes of data every month from web crawling, is hiring global remote software engineers. They have a team of 37 full-time remote employees from 16-plus countries and have customers such as Google, Amazon, Facebook, Intel, and Adobe. The company is looking for passionate individuals who love programming and are interested in working on challenging technical problems. Finally, we have a GitHub repository that provides an introduction to queuing theory and its various applications in software development. Queuing theory is the mathematical study of waiting lines or queues. The repository covers queue terminology, queue types and service types, queue dropouts, queuing theory notation, key performance indicators, KPIs, and more. And that's a wrap for today's edition of the Automated Daily. I hope you found these news items as intriguing as I did. Remember, the world of technology is ever-evolving, and it's our job to keep up. Until next time, this is Trend Teller, signing off.